This is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and today we have a story and we have always a story for every roadster. And this time... Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Now sure. here's another radiant red roadster and this one is very special Same sad story, the car was completely dead It was bricked in Florida um, What makes this car so unique however is a number of things This is the last production roadster made, it's been 1459 so. This was the last one off the assembly line, and after this car, they shut down the production line. 1459. They did some wins after that as well, but for what purpose were there? There were five additional ones that yes. were held in reserve, and that was the final five. That was VIN 1460 to 1464 in ah. the United States. In yes. Europe, the VINs actually ran higher, and yeah. they had their own VIN numbering system there. So. So the other thing that makes this car highly unusual is, we've never seen this before. If you notice, it was noteworthy enough for Elon to actually autograph the PEM, the Power Electronics Module. And sign that PEM. Now this looks like a very young Elon signature, <laughs> because you can still read it, as you see there. Today, when you look at the signature, it's just a very quick scribble. Mm -hmm. And this is and signature, what you can still read, and yeah, the signature has changed after the years, but it still says Elon Musk. So that's why this car is, and this doesn't have many miles or either, right? That, that's the other thing that makes this car so unique. We work, of course, on a lot of roadsters, and we have to go inside the car, underneath the belly pans and inside the, uh, yeah. um, the suspension components. This is the cleanest roadster that we have ever received. What you see here is completely unretouched. We normally clean the cars before they come in a service center. Yeah. <clears throat> this one came in an enclosed transport. And if you look at things like these cables right here, these orange cables. <clears throat> They're are usually, usually gray dark a little bit, right? Exactly. Yeah. And all of that cleanliness actually extends to inside the car, inside the suspension components. So we, were, we took a lot of pictures of this car. Uh, the mileage on it currently is around 2,400 miles. Oh, wow. And uh, according to the owner, <clears throat> it has never been in the rain. Um, and it has been basically in climate-controlled storage. And the fundamental reason is the customer realizes that a car with this kind of pedigree is highly collectible. This will be a highly collectible item. First of all, the signature from Elon on it, the last on the production line. And this one is actually should not be driven, right? But it's, you, you repaired the battery pack for that one as well? We did. We ended up having to pull the battery pack on this as well because the amount, um, uh, the amount of time it was bricked was longer than uh, we normally like. Yes. And um, so it did get a new sheet. But um, the car is actually still increasing in range, and that's typically what happens after we repair them. Yeah. Um, the baseline will move, and the good news is that it's moving up. If oh, it's moving good. down, that means we have another parasitic resistive cell that we need to work on. And yeah. that, that also happens occasionally. So, and then you can be happy. No, this looks like new. Looks like from the shop, right? Uh, the camera can't smell, but if you go inside the car, it still has a new car odor. Oh, oh, wow. I think I know, I know you can buy that from a gas station, yeah. but this is the real new car odor. This is the real thing. So he, he almost, this, he, drove, he drove it on Sundays, probably, when there was no rain. Yes. yes. Right? And 2,400 miles, I, just, I, I probably got it in the first week of my car. <laughs> and that's in 10 years. So if you divide that by 10 years, you can tell how many miles per year he drove. 240 miles per year. You can see the headlights, for example. They're absolutely perfect. There's no fogging, there's no peeling. Um, it is rare to see a car in this kind of condition or a roadster anyway. You know, if he puts it on the auction, he will get quite a good amount for that. Or maybe he waits longer, right? Because if one day our car turns electric, like there are more than, I just read today in 
Norway, there are more electric cars registered last year as gasoline or hybrid cars, gasoline, diesel or hybrid cars in Norway. They want to get rid of the, all of the gasoline cars until 2025. They don't want to register any new gasoline cars up to that time. But all electric cars, so they registered more electric cars than gasoline cars in Norway. Mm -hmm. So guys, this is how it comes. So one other thing that was highly unusual about this car. Yeah. If you look underneath the uh, front of these roadsters, there is generally yeah. some evidence of some scraping. Scratching and scraping, yeah, you can yeah. see it here as well. Um, yes. In fact, those probably have even more examples of that. This car is absolutely perfect. There isn't a single scratch. All wow. the paint daubs on the screws are still there. Um, and again, this is normally what a interior of a uh, suspension area looks like. And you can see dirt, grime, dust. Dust, little rust, fly rust, right? Right. And if yeah. we had uh, that car up on the lift, you would be amazed. It looks just like a roadster that is fresh off the assembly line. <laughs> so this is how, you know what? This is probably more a hobby for you than, <laughs> than, than it is a business, but it's well, a business uh, really, it's right? Always, it's always an honor when you get an example oh, of, of these type of cars, of, uh, yeah. Yeah, machinery like this. So they come, come all over the United States to you and said, hey, I have a broken battery, can you repair it? Can you get some parts and so on? They're yeah. actually coming all over North America. We get some from Canada as well. In Canada as well, no. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, hey. Pete, thank you very much for another uh, great stories. And now I want to know from Junior uh, how, he's, how he did my car. <laughs> right. Okay. See you next time, guys. Bye bye. You and I, we're trouble in sight. Beating hearts don't lie. An empty page, a story to write I'm in love, you're divine And it's all in our signs We're going